people separate themselves out, claiming people as others. Being a gay man, I've been part of an other group all my life. I kind of wonder what it would be like to live in such a way that you don't feel that you are an other to anyone. The FDA has imposed a lifetime ban on gay donors since 1983. The federal government today approved the first blood test to help prevent the transfer of the deadly AIDS virus through blood transfusions. Improved testing has led to calls to lift the ban. Starting next year, celibate gay men could be able to donate blood in the U.S. The FDA is taking a bold step. There's been a, a discriminatory policy in place, and a change is in fact happening. It's historic, but it doesn't do enough, and it's not actually fair. How many gay men do I know that are actually going to be celibate for 12 months? Gay men that I know that are married, that are monogamous with each other. What actually seemed like something that was a step in the right direction, sat with it for a while and actually felt like this was even worse, here we are in 2015, when we have all this medicine and science at our disposal, and this is the best that they could do. This is both a science issue as well as an equality issue. We have the technology to identify HIV within a blood supply within nine days. One of the drivers of HIV is stigma. It's dangerous to public health. He is straight, I'm gay. If my identical twin needed blood, being his perfect match, I would be turned down. There I was an armor officer. I was in charge of soldiers who were on tanks, and so I took uh, platoons as a platoon leader to, to Iraq twice. The idea that I can shed my blood on the battlefield and yet at the same time cannot donate blood really doesn't make sense to me. They're not doing the same for heterosexuals. You can be a heterosexual having sex left and right without condoms and without any protection and nobody's going to stop you from giving blood. I'm just imagining so many people sitting there tapping this pen and going, do I ask the nurse? Excuse me, what, what exactly do you mean by gay sex? Did I have safe sex? Was it oral sex? Was it penetrative sex? Are we all disqualified? Can we not give blood to save our friends' lives? Can we not give blood to save our children's lives? I lived a celibate life um, for quite a few years until I realized that was not a calling for me. And I, I really wanted someone to connect with in my life. Fortunately, I found that. We both identify as transgender males and therefore would be ineligible to donate blood, but um, probably were not necessarily who the FDA had in mind when they were trying to filter out potential blood donors. Back in Nigeria, the only time I would see blood was when either my friends were sick in a hospital or you know, they were being beaten up because they were gay. If I cannot donate blood to save lives, at least I can donate blood for art. When the blood ban happened, from day one, it struck me as deeply troubled. Anything that singles out gay men, it's just, it's all wrong. It's troubled and wrong. And it always was. This blood could have been used to save lives. In fact, think about how many lives could have been saved over the years. Millions and millions of lives could have been saved with the blood donated by gay and bisexual men. It is a spiritual thing. Sharing and giving blood is really more than symbolic. It's the real aspect of bringing all people together, all human beings are one in their blood.
like there's no such thing as black blood or Latino blood or Asian blood or anything else. It's all blood. But I do like what somebody said that, that gay blood is love. <laughs>